when I pass in the street Bag of money in the passenger seat Simple foes been asking for me On the road from the west to the east Way up, I might never come down Cause the coast racking up the flight miles So high, I might never come down So what, this is my lifestyle I found the next new burbot bait that is literally lights out. I mean, lead jigs, anything, don't compare to this thing. This thing has been putting fish topside like crazy. It's ugly, but it smashes. And what are we talking about right now? If you're fishing Lake Nipissing, if you're fishing anywhere that's got burbot, you better get your hands on one of these because I'm telling you, they absolutely crush them. Uh, that might be a burb. Yep, that's a burb. That's a big burb. That's a big burby. Come on, dude. Eat it, dude. Give me the first one of the night. I've waited all day for you. Oh, he tried to... He moved it. Got him. That, that is a good burbot. Yeah, that's a better fish. GoPro highlight. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. We are hooked up. Nishine finesse jig. It's a big burb. Saw that mark come in, and I'm like, this is a big one. We got another one down there, too. Really big fish. Let's go! Let's go! Look at that fish. I don't know if you can see what's in his mouth. Machine a jig to the dome. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's dark out. Limited visibility. Beautiful belly on that thing. That thing absolutely crushed it. Beauty, beauty. We're gonna get a release on this fella. All right, we're gonna let you go, buddy. Big old burb, big burb. Look at that, size of a hole, eight inch hole. Whoop, peace. <laughs> Let's go. Five minutes later. Come on, dude, find it, find it. We're just kind of doing a light tap, you know, like a good rhythm. You want to get a good rhythm here. You see how you see my arm? I'm not using my wrist. I'm using my whole arm here. I'm using my whole forearm to, to really get a good rhythm because any sort of abnormal feel to my rhythm that I get, that's when I set the hook. If you're, if you're jigging with your wrists and you're not feeling that bottom how it's supposed to feel and you're just jigging like you normally would, you probably won't. There we go. It's almost gone on me. Yeah. Hey. I'm doubled up. Night. Ah, I'm in the f I'm in the deucer. Oh no. Oh. I'm out. He's a good one too. Yeah. Yeah. I got the other one was about eight pounds. Here's this one's a little smaller. Okay, we got him again. <laughs> Look what's in his face, guys. I can't make this stuff up. Like, literally, this is how it's going. This is how it's going down. This is a beautiful eater. One of my favorite eating fish. I think I'm going to keep this one to eat. This guy here is a beauty. Look at that. <laughs> I think we'll keep this one. I haven't kept the fish, and we've been up here for five days. I haven't kept the fish yet, but... Kept, we'll keep this one. He's a nice, decent sized fish. He's not too, too big. I don't like to keep the big, big ones. I like to release those ones. This is a great fish. I absolutely love these things. One of my favorite fish to target. Like, look at that. See those little tinglers? That's what they're feeling those senses with. That's what they're feeling that noise with, that, that smell with. Those are what they're feeling. Those are what they're using. 
There's just fish all over right now. This is what we come out here for. Honestly, I can come to Nipissing and I could sleep in all day, which is what I think I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna probably sleep in all day and I'm gonna come out strictly for just a burbit. It's just amazing, but awesome fish. That's number two of the night. We're two for two right now. Absolutely great ratio. My buddy's coming now because his battery died. So we'll get back out there and we'll see you shortly. <laughs> Come on, dude. Eat it, dude. Oh, this one looks like he'll eat. He's close to bottom. Oh, he absolutely drilled that. Just drilled it. Oh my goodness. That is just, that is just crazy. That is just crazy. Oh, hold on, dude. This guy. <laughs> yeah, no problem, dude. Anytime. Whew. I just got another one. I'm two for two. Oh, three for three right now. Did a little switch up here. Put on old faithful lead trout and pout, and we got it done. I'll call you in a bit, Tal. Give me a second, buddy. There we go. Could only hold them in the mouth. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Look at that. Oh, it's another burp. Damn. It is my favorite time of the year. Ice fishing for these things. They look like eels. Look at them. They look like eels, but they are an amazing species. Just amazing. Look at their head. They're just built like bricks. Absolutely crazy. We're gonna get a quick release on this fish right here. Good. See you later. And we got another one down there. There's another one down there. That is crazy. Craving that hit again. I'm losing my mind right now. I'm just craving that bite. It's been about an hour and a half that we haven't seen a fish. It's really can get it can get to your brain a little bit. Started going out crazy. Wild. <laughs> this is crazy. Crazy. He's a little baby. Oh. <laughs> little fella came in. Ate it pretty good, but he's a little baby. We're going to send this guy back home quick. Nice fish, though. Just flawless burbit. Look at their fins flared up. It's freaking awesome. That is awesome. Okay, we'll throw him back quick. See ya. Peace. I just wanted to kind of give it a little breakdown now. I mean, I've done videos in the past. If you go to my profile, you'll see a bunch of videos where I kind of break down what I'm doing, how I'm catching these fish, how I'm set up. But basically on my day one video that I'll be posting separate to this video probably is that you could see how I set up my hut. Now I'm not just showing up to a waypoint on Navionics and saying, hey, this is the, this is the waypoint I'm gonna sit on, that is it. Yes, in my mind, I'm gonna set up on a spot 
that I want to fish on all day, but you got to make sure you're set up on the right stuff. And what I mean by that is Nipissing is notorious for having Navionics totally skewed. They're totally wrong. Everything is absolutely off. So if you're setting up on something you think you're setting up on, think again, because I can promise you this lake is not what you think it is in terms of structure and mapping. I actually do everything in terms of drilling. I get to a spot, the map gives you a somewhat area that you're gonna focus on. It's up to you how much you wanna drill to get a visual map of what under you looks like. I don't come up here in the summer, I don't fish on the boat, I don't know how this lake looks on a, like a structure scan or an imaging, but in terms of coming up for ice fishing and figuring it out ice fishing wise, you know, you're going to a spot, let's say you pick a hump on the lake, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a map up here, like here, there's a map, okay? Pick this map, for example. You're gonna see this map and you see a hump, okay? This hump right here is not what it's gonna look like. If I wanna set up on this one waypoint, which like, we'll call it like, let's say, little red circle. Little red circle, let's say we we, we, we set up on that. That is not gonna be the, your area you're setting up on. I guarantee you, you're probably about 50 to 100 yards off. It could be as far as 100 yards on this lake. I mean, it's, it's crazy how far I've gone to find the actual hump. So, best case scenario, go to the top of the hump. Okay, this is how I do it. I mean, I'm giving you guys gold right here because this is how I find these spots. Go to your Navionics. Drill a hole on the top of the hump on the Navionics. If it says 10 feet and you drill a hole and you're sitting in 30 feet, something's wrong. You're not near the hump. And I can promise you the hump's around you somewhere. The map gives you a general location, but you're probably off by it. I mean, I've been off a lot in terms of that. So don't trust the map, go to the map. I'm gonna give you gold right here. I'm giving you gold, everybody. This is money, okay? Listen to me and you will probably catch your first bourbon or a ton more if you haven't already. So go on your map, find the top of the hump, drill a hole in the top of that hump, okay? You're gonna drill a hole in the top of that hump Drop your transducer, it might be minus 40 out. If it's minus 40 out, suck it up, drop the transducer down, and see what depth you read. Okay? If it says 10 feet, and the hump on the Navionics says 10 feet, now, all you gotta do is work your way in that direction that you wanna be fishing on, let's say the ledge is to your left. You just start drilling to the left. Drill holes every five feet. Find where that drop off is, and boom you're on the money okay do not get sucked into the fact that you're fishing a spot and you want to set up on the ledge or you want to set up on a saddle and you think you're on it because i guarantee you you're not i can promise you that from experience you're probably not so without saying that those that tune into this channel you just got a little money trick on the late nipissing because it's quite crazy how I see a lot of guys running around and I'll see like I literally saw 15 guys today set up on what they thought is the actual spot or the top of the hump because on Navionics it says but it's not and they set up on it based off of Navionics and they were nowhere near it. Don't just look at the maps that is the one number mistake when it comes to ice fishing and lake nipissing and all these northern swing lakes navionics is good for a point of reference but do yourself the due diligence drill around find the spots and you're going to be on some gold i mean structure scent sound you got all those three things you're going to catch for a bit this thing it's literally a craw trailer minnow rattles it's ugly but it catches fish get on out there grab yourself a new shine jig definitely try them out they they slam and uh yeah that's about it we're gonna wrap up here actually i think in, in a bit in like 20 minutes or so it's uh 10 o'clock a little earlier shut down than the other night we stayed out till like midnight yesterday it's hard sitting in this hut from seven o'clock in the morning till till 12 
my my gear is really like wet and soggy and it's just not good so we're gonna wrap it up day number two thanks for tuning in hopefully you got something out of this burbot i try not to ramble on and and ramble but unfortunately that's what you get from me if you do tune in i like to talk i try to help out as much as i can uh, make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe because definitely caught a lot of fish for you guys today and you're throwing a little something different too which is cool to see that they actually hit it got lots of content coming up for you guys stay tuned stay fishy stay frosty and uh make sure you drop that subscribe button it honestly truly means a lot i don't ask for too much but i would appreciate that <laughs> all right guys have a good one thanks for tuning in and uh we'll catch you on the next one eat it, dude just eat it Got him. That one slack lined it. That was sick. So that one come right over. He slack lined that. Oh, he came right up. <laughs> Finally. Don't go that way. And we got him. You managed to do it. Oh no! Oh no! It is 9.17. Last bite wasn't for a while. For about two hours. Finally, another nice burbot.